So, you want to play Dragon Ball Fighters, but you don't want to get your ass handed to you every single time you go online by guys who can do stuff like this. Well, no pun intended, but you're in good hands, because in this guide, I will be showing you everything you need to know to play this game properly as a beginner in 2020, and even up to intermediate level. From controls, to learning how to do your first impressive combo, when to punish, and even how to create near impossible to block mix-ups and cross-ups. But before all that, hit that subscribe button right now with your notifications on because we are running a new Nintendo Switch giveaway with a free game exclusive to followers of my channel, where one lucky Dragon Ball Fighters fan will be walking away with a console in August. So get it done now because it could easily be you. But let's get right into part one, the controls. I'll keep it brief and say there are light attacks, medium attacks and heavy attacks. On PS4, light is square, medium is triangle and heavy is circle. And on Xbox, light is X, medium is Y and heavy is B. We'll get into when it's best to use each of these later in the video, but the next key button is the super dash. A super dash is R2 on PS4 and right trigger on Xbox. Put simply, it's a homing attack that flies from anywhere on the screen, but it's very punishable, so it needs to be done at the right time. So now you know those basic buttons, let's go straight into combos. So I'm gonna make this super easy for you to understand, but this is also the most difficult part to execute. In this game, there are inbuilt auto combos, which I'm sure you know all about, where you literally just press the light button over and over and you will get a combo. However, to be good at this game in any way, you need to absolutely scrap and never use that all combo. Instead, you need to learn this combo, which is a bread and butter combo that pretty much every single character in the game can perform. This may seem very difficult, but trust me, if you practice this exact sequence of buttons and get this down in your muscle memory, Everything else in the game moving forward will be a cakewalk and you will easily beat 9% of people in those first early 4 to 5 ranks for certain. So, to begin with, you just need to press light, light, followed by down, medium, followed by standing, medium. By standing, we mean just let go of down. Get this down and when you do, you'll notice that after doing this sequence of buttons, the opponent is very briefly in the air. This is where you then press up forward, aka diagonal. But once you press it, immediately follow up with light, light, followed by down heavy. This may seem daunting, but genuinely, just treat each of the buttons in this whole sequence as just a button to press in a combination you've memorized. So altogether, you press light, light, down medium, standing medium, up forward, light, light, down, heavy. Get that down after some practice and next move on to the continuation. You'll notice that after that down heavy, the opponent is hit up into the air. This is your cue to then super dash to catch them, with it being R2 on PS4 or right trigger on Xbox. Once you catch up to them, a new combo starts and it begins with light, light, down heavy once more. This will again hit the opponent into the air, but you will notice this time you cannot super dash to them. This time, in order to finish this combo, after you press that down heavy, you need to immediately press up, light, light, light. The up is used to quickly jump to catch the rising opponent, and the light, light, light auto combo smashes the opponent to the ground. This immediate up is what I struggled with for a while initially and will take some time to practice, so don't worry if it's difficult. But the trick is to once again just picture this sequence of buttons as just a normal combination of buttons to press. Meaning, treat the two parts as one and the combo sequence will go as light, light, down heavy, up, light, light, light. 
press them one after the other without trying to do any sort of timing or anything complex. Now, put the entire combo together and you have one impressive and significantly more damaging combo than the auto combo that looks like this. The beauty of this combo is that you can start from pretty much anything as long as you get that down medium into standing medium. Trunks for example has a long reaching down medium that allows me to get into my combo from a great distance. The next thing to do which will make this really dangerous is that after the final light 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 it will hit the opponent down into what is known as a sliding knockdown. While in a sliding knockdown this is your opportunity to do either a level 1 or level 3 super. The command for your level 1 super will almost always be quarter circle forward R1 on PS4 or quarter circle forward RB on Xbox. Level 3 supers will be a quarter circle back R2 on PS4 or a quarter circle back right trigger on Xbox. Additionally, when you perform a level 1 super, if you have enough bar, you can also press each of your assist buttons to bring in them to do their level 1s also for added damage. This is also helpful for switching in another character as whichever assist you call in last will now be on the battlefield. Assist buttons are L1 and L2 on PS4 and LB and left trigger on Xbox. One tip is that again if you have enough meter you can do your level 1 and call in a level 3 from your assist by holding back as you press their assist button. Now that you have this the next essential move to learn is the instant air dash. This move is something you won't see many beginners do so if you get this down you will own literally all of them and it's quite simple. All it is is pressing up forward and quickly double tapping forward so fast that you move just above your opponent. When you do this you can press heavy to do an overhead. This instant air dash overhead will then allow you to go straight into the combo we practiced earlier for massive damage. You can also do this consistently as pressure in the corner where many beginner players fail to expect an overhead and it can also be mixed up with a down medium as in order to block an overhead the opponent must stand to block. What's also great is that sometimes your overhead will miss but it will end up with you being on the other side of your opponent leading to an unexpected cross up where you can start your combo again as they block on the wrong side. Now let's talk about super dashes. Really and truly, super dashes are not really to be used that much outside the context of a combo. The only other times to use it are to close space after knocking down an opponent or if you believe it will be completely unexpected. The reason for this is that super dashes can be punished by any reasonable player by simply pressing down heavy just before it hits. So for this reason, it's best to just bait out an opponent to super dash through use of key blasts or spacing because when you do land the down heavy you can combo straight from this by pressing super dash followed by light, medium, up forward, light, medium followed by any of your special moves which you can find in the character moves list. Usually it will be some form of core circle forward or core circle back, light, medium or heavy. Usually it's best to go for the heavy variant as it will lead to a sliding knockdown and thus opportunity to again use the level 1 or level 3 super. Next, we'll talk about block strings. This is slightly more advanced but still very doable with a little practice and all I'll tell you is that a block string is pretty much just a combination of moves pressed while on the ground while the opponent is blocking that is uninterruptible and will leave you safe after its use. The bread and butter one which will work with the majority of characters is as follows and is similar to the buttons pressed in that earlier combo I taught you. Press light, light, followed by down medium, followed by standing medium, followed by standing heavy, followed by down heavy, followed by quarter circle light or quarter circle key block. It will vary from character to character which quarter circle move you use and what works best but experiment as using this block string will be a useful tool to attempt a combo safely without being punished and in the lower ranks many people will try to interrupt and get caught as a result leading to a full combo and a heck of a lot of damage. Finally, we will talk about dragon rushes. In this game, dragon rushes are basically grabs, but they are harder to react to and break the most, needing almost perfect reaction of pressing the dragon rush button at the same time to break it. 
the Dragon Rush button is R1 on PS4 and RB on Xbox. They are best used on an opponent who is turtling and attempting to block too much, or good to just throw out in the middle of a string if you think they are respecting you too much. You could do your block string, finish with an assist to waste some time, or go into your long block string only for you to then interrupt with a Dragon Rush while you wait. Just one idea of many, so keep playing and experimenting to learn more. And that is it for today's video. That is everything in my opinion you could possibly need to know to start playing this game like a boss and start beating everybody without me making an hour long video on the whole subject. Practice everything here, especially the combos and instant air dash and there is no doubt you will be winning the majority of your matches in the beginning. But don't fear, if this video does well, I will definitely create even more detailed guides for you. But before you leave, do not forget to subscribe to enter our Nintendo Switch giveaway as not only will you be enjoying some insane Dragon Ball fighters and Dragon Ball content on the channel, you could also be walking away with an awesome prize. Until next video guys, cheers.